move forward party is actually a dark horse. A lot of people, analysts and polls didn't expect such a win because of the fact that this is a rather new party. It's kind of like a party of the newer generation of voters. And they di didn't really have a stronghold as was seen with the, either the government, the former government parties or the opposition party of the Pulitai party. Because obviously, yes, it is a win for Move Forward Party, but there's still a long way to go. Last night, the leader of the party, Pita Limdalun Bhatt, said that he was already preparing in a way because he said that uh, he was okay uh, with the former Prime Minister Thaksin Shinawat returning to the country. Another thing that uh, he said as well, uh, the leader of the Move Forward Party, is that he is ready to be the 30th uh, Prime Minister of Thailand. Pe Thai has also said it, and Pe Thai is the second leading party in the polls. And if you really want an easy coalition, it could be easy between the Move Forward Party and the Pe Thai Party. But now there is a question as to how they're going to compromise as to who will be the leader. Definitely, it's going to be a political play. Uh, on the sidelines, you also have talks that maybe perhaps the uh, smaller parties that got the smaller votes, such as the former government parties, could form a coalition on their own. It's really up in the air right now. And the next 60 days where the EC will be responsible for declaring the official results of this election will be crucial as to how uh, move Forward Party will play its cards. So the battle will be intense, it will be long, but definitely it's going to be interesting.